Yo, I'm trying to get my sterling up in the city. So see we play. As soon as my child can walk, it's straight project Mbappé. Bunnel with a verbal. As soon as I hear that whistle, we get straight to the action. Come on, lads, where's the passion? Do like Alan Maxine, wear headbands for the fashion. If the defenders drop back, we counter and then attack them. I got my eye on the ball. I got my eye on the ball, yeah. Uh, I got my eye on the boat. Uh, I got my eye on the boat. Yeah, I got my eye on the boat. Ooh. I got my eye on the boat. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Back again, the boys, the first down crew. Um, back for another edition, man. Uh, I said it was a series last episode. So I guess you can call it episode two of our our top five series. We're gonna do um top five wide receivers today but we got a little bonus at the end as well but um, before we get stuck into the show gotta say well going to the man them we saying fellas and we saying bro i'm good bro i'm good i'm good Sometimes flexing I'm... with the flexing with the, the kit and that yeah yeah i know we we had a game i can't remember against who some i think it's the egyptian side so i had to support my team you know no you you just flexing bro you just flexing yeah, yeah, a little bit of that too, but you know. <laughs> Boogs, what are you saying, bro? Good to have I'm you. I'm here, bro, man. What are you saying? What are you saying, lads? All right, bro. And Bassi, see you flexing with the gym shark as well, bro. What are you saying? Yeah, man's wearing the gym shark like I'm, uh, like I'm marking for them, but I can't even go gym because I can't really walk. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's all that was about, clean. About, right about now. to try to get a sponsorship, fam. Hey, right, Jim Charles, the team, <laughs> Leo, man. Shut, shut oh, up, my man. bro, man. Shut up, my come bro. Come on, come on. Trust me, I try to get the sponsorship, man. But yeah, no, I'm good, man. The sun's out. Um, I was a bit vexed last week. You know, last week Sunday, England lost the game, and then the week, the week, the week that went on for my brothers wasn't the best. But I've, 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 the sun's out, so I'm, I'm less anti right now. I'm in a happier, a happier place. Yeah, that's how it should be, fam. That's how it should be. But um, as I said, we're going to get into the top five wide receivers, man. There's a lot of elite receivers in the league, man. A lot of guys that you can argue are top five. But um, we'll see, man. We'll see We'll see what the men are thinking. But um, yeah, man, we can just get cracking, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just oh. give disclaimers at the end. But um, yeah, I, I, I'll go first, I guess. I'll go first. Start with um, keep it how we did it last time. Everyone say their five, everyone say their four, etc. Um, this is also going into the new season, so this is not based on their resume, what they've done so far. This is the top five wide receivers going into the 2021 2022 season. Do you get what I mean? So, um, at five, I've got I had Keenan Allen at five. Um, Keenan Allen for me is one of the most underrated receivers in the league. Um, he just picked up one of the best young quarterbacks in the league, um, one of the best route runners in the league. Like, if you are an NFL fan, go and look at uh, Keenan Allen running routes. Like, that guy routes. is definitely Surgical. one of the top three route runners in the league. Now he's got a big-time quarterback with him, new coach, um, John Staley, I think his name is, or whatever his name is, Staley, um, from the Rams. So, um, yeah, man, yeah. I think Keenan... Keenan Allen's going to have a big-time season, fam. Like, that guy's got... As long as he's healthy, do you know what I mean? That's, that's been the issue since he's been in the league, health. So, um, yeah, man, I think he's going to have a big-time season still. Mm. Yeah, it's me. Uh, yeah, go I ahead, bro. Yeah, no, I, I, I had Keenan Allen tied with this guy. Hey, no ties, no ties, no, no ties, no ties. No, but I'm, I, picked one the the I picked one in the end. Oh, okay, good. Five, good, I'm good. going Tyreek Hill. Because I think that he's the most dangerous weapon in the NFL. Like, that guy that can guy. beat anyone. Yeah, nah, five. That's it's, low, though. That's low for Tyreek. You think so? Uh, the guys I have ahead of him, I don't know uh, the, the sign about them anyway. Anyway, <laughs> But, yeah, I think he's the most dangerous weapon in the NFL. And I think, obviously, the quarterback he has, but the coach he has as well, they're able to get him in positions where he can just really take the top off. But also now he's developed into such a great route runner that you have to respect him you know, in his intermediate and short route. So the guy is, is a special, special talent. And I think as well, he is the epitome of hard work because when he came into the league, it was all about, oh, he's um, his punt returns. Yeah, and 
or the fact that he was a deep threat. Now he's a complete wide receiver. So, yeah, for me, the most dangerous weapon in the NFL, but I have him fifth when it comes to wide receivers. Just before you go, you man, do you man have an issue with Tyreek being so low? Yes, I do. I've got big issues with that. Big issues. I've got issues. I got big issues. Big issues. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it at that in it when we get okay, to, right. you know, Tyreek. I'm going to ask you, Nadim. Nadim, you mm. were questioning, there was, a, there was a debate whether he was even a top five receiver for you. It was, it was borderline with, with Keenan Allen, whether, whether that, 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 that's what's rattling me. <laughs> Wait, he, was, he wasn't going to make your top five? <laughs> no, he <laughs> wasn't. Was drink. Four, five, and six were a toss-up for me. Like, oh, okay. they had to compete. One, six. two, and three were set. That was happening everywhere. Four, five, and six, they were competing. And I felt like I liked four as a player when I like Tyreek Hill. Tyreek, that's fair. that's not disrespect on him yeah. anyway. You can you can make your case when you get to your four, innit? Yeah. Uh, Bessie, who you got at five, bro? At five, I've gone with the same as you. I've gone with Keenan Allen. Um, this was a, this was a toss-up for me as well, though. And this might surprise some people. Like, it was a toss-up between Keenan Allen and, and Diggs. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know I the but disrespect I, is still here. <laughs> I, I, I like Diggs, man. It was, it was what, what, no, what more can this boy do? What more can he do? <laughs> what more can he do? <laughs> Stefan <laughs> Diggs, what <laughs> more can he do? I've got him in sixth place. There's not much more he can do, to be honest with you. He had an excellent season last year, but we're just going into next season. Who do we think is going to be the top, better, five. Better receiver, the top five receivers? And I'm looking at Keenan Allen. I'm looking at his quarterback in his second year. They're building up that partnership. They're going to be a better team this year. And I just, like you said, they're out running. And I trust his hands more than most other receivers. Um, so that's how I've got him in fifth in, in, fifth, in fifth place in my top five. And, and Diggs is just, just in sixth. But I love Diggs. I had Diggs in my top five last year, um, top five receivers. But just mm-hmm. going into next year, I put Keenan Allen in. in, yeah, in fifth. Cool. But you, Why, bro. I see the pain. My, my list is going to be controversial anyway, so I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready every, to defend my like list. going to be controversial. So, yeah, we have to start off controversial. Number five, we've got Julio Jones. Five? Yeah. We said we're not basing this off, off what's it called, didn't it? We're not basing resume. it off resume. Yeah, if it was, it was based off resume, it will probably be number one. But yeah. as of right now, there are a few guys that take over Julio. And I don't know what this offense with the Titan looks like right now. Is he going to be an X? Is he going to be a Y? Who knows? So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But going into next season, you can't deny that he's he's obviously still a top five receiver. So, yeah, I'll go at number five. I think talent-wise, you can still say he's a top five wide receiver. But Derrick Henry is the number one option on that team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you could argue AJ Brown is a number two option. It depends what Julio you get. It depends what Julio That's you the get. point I'm you making. Get, like, gonna get the little no, little they're not, you can't. Get, Julio ain't like peak Julio to where you can throw him like 150 balls. Fam, he's, he's brittle enough. Fam, he gets Wait, how, how, really old he? How, how old is he? How old is he? I think he's like that, you know. But what, why is he brittle? He had, he had one season. Last season, well, oh no, no, injured. he's had a few. He's had a few injuries. Fam, he's injured. He's injured the past couple seasons, fam. He's 32. I, I, don't know too. I don't know if he's brutal. I'm looking at his numbers. In 2020, he played... Let me get them up. He played nine games last year for seven and and, and, and caught 770 yards. In 2019, he played 15 and, and, and caught... And went 1,400 on the season. 2018, what 17... What about the season before that? 1,700 yards. 2017, 1,400. 2016, 1,400. 2015, 1,900 yards. I'm not questioning the numbers. The numbers I are insane. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think he just had a bad, a bad year. Last year he was injured. Last year was horrible for him injuries, and he was playing with a lot of injuries as well last year. But but, but do you bad. do you even think it's smart to put so much workload on him when really and truly you only need him for the postseason? Not only, but you know what I mean. You don't need him to carry the load. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I think. Yeah, but he's he's he's, he's an elite wide receiver though. He's still going. to yeah. Uh, but I don't. I don't uh, think he's carried the load at Atlanta since Calvin Ridley got there. Like, yeah, it's not yeah. Him no, yeah, not, not But that's what I'm saying. Why would you ask him to go back to carrying the load when he's supposed no, to be on the good. team? I don't want to say that. I don't, don't think so. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. They they're still going to put the team on on Derrick Henry's yeah. back. So, 
Fair. But, fair. I, I but there, there, there are gonna be there are gonna be games. There are gonna be games where there are gonna be games where Julio is gonna have to make plays, and I think he yeah, will. So that's definitely. why. So I, I just think I just think over the whole season, I think they're gonna rely on AJ Brown, especially in the regular season, and more so than so, uh, Julio. So you think AJ is gonna be the X then? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I just think even if even I, if I don't, I don't, Julio, even if Julio is the X, even if Julio is the X, A. A. Brown is firstly Daniel's already got um a rapport with him. Secondly, yeah. fam, he's a young young stud. Do you yeah, know what I mean, you don't want him to take yeah, it. Take Julio, it Julio, back. Julio, There's some great, wide receivers. Huh? I said Julio is all time great. I don't think yeah. rapport is gonna be a thing. All time great. There's some wide receivers that they're, they're, they're quarterback friendly. Like you don't need to have a rapport with them. Yeah, they'll, they'll be open. Like just that's Julio. Exactly. I think no, even if definitely. even if AJ Brown is is lining up on, on game one as an as a number one by 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 half by half time and he'll know he'll know his position in on the roster. I think the only player they might rest for him is um is Derrick Henry. Throw the ball to Julio Jones some more. Don't let Derrick Henry mm-hmm. face the punishment that he that he's been facing in the regular season. And maybe yeah. we've seen him we've seen him burn out a little bit in the playoffs the last few years. So maybe the, the addition of Julio Jones can, can can help can help Henry as well. Yeah, I think, I think that would be interesting to see like the balance between like Julio, like how much you know. Production. I, I, don't think he, I don't think Julio is a diva though. Even though no, he he's not, he's won not, some not. touches, not, I don't. I think I think Derrick Henry being a first option is not going to be an issue for him. Yeah, for sure. I don't. I don't think it's going to be an issue for him personally. I just think it might affect his production. Do you know what I mean? But it's we'll wait and see. In it. Um. I'm, so that's my number four. At number four, I had Diggs. I had Diggs at number four. Um, yo, like, I, I, I still... I remember we had that ongoing debate about Michael Thomas versus Diggs. I think um, now that Drew Brees has retired, the quarterback situation in New Orleans is basically up in the air. I think that's going to affect Alvin Kamara as well. Like, for me, Alvin Kamara is top two, top three backs, but... I think his production will take a hit next year. But um yeah, Diggs, I think Diggs had a big time season, man. He 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 carried the load, led the league in catches. Do you got I mean? Like he's a guy that is going to put up numbers. Um him and Josh Allen have great chemistry, makes big plays. He's one of, another guy that's one of the best route runners in the league. Um yeah, just Diggs is just like he's found a home in Buffalo and I think that he's gonna just just keep taking steps forward. What about yeah. you, Nadim? You got four. Diggs. Right, Diggs. Complete right, one, right runner. Led the league in receptions, receiving yards, and I think receiving yards per game last season. And that's in his first season with Josh Allen. Imagine what it's going to be in his second season. If not for the respect I have for the other three guys, I might have just took myself into pushing him up, pushing him up further up the list. But I have respect for the other three guys. But yeah, now, nah, Diggs is... is a complete right receiver and he's been that way for the last two, three seasons but obviously he's been playing kind of as a 1b when he was in minnesota and now he's he's the guy and everyone knows he's the guy and and his work rate i think as well is people don't give him credit for his work rate they always labeled him as a diva i don't think anyone played more snaps last season as a wide receiver than he did yeah. even when he was injured so that's the amount of respect that i have for him and i, I think this season he goes to another level him and josh allen so yeah i have him at number four, yeah, Diggs is a baller, man. Still, is it? <laughs> it's good that he got out of Minnesota in there because he was really getting like overshadowed. Do you know what I mean, mm, now there he was conversation. Who's better? Who's who's the best receiver on the team? Fam, and it's clear now. Wants, I mean, like, it's not like Thielen is some scrub. Like, Thielen's a good receiver. Like, he ain't just, Diggs. He ain't yeah, Diggs. no, yeah, he ain't Diggs. Even Justin Jefferson, a rookie, surpassed him. So. Feeling is questionable. What about you, Abbas? Yeah, nice. Justin Jefferson is nice as well. Nice. Um, for me, you could argue you can make this list. I mean, yeah, definitely soon. Maybe not yet, but soon. I think so. Um, because his first his rookie season was nuts. In fourth place, this might surprise some people because I, I even surprised myself when I put him this low. But I'm putting DeAndre Hopkins Yo, as, my, as my fourth best. Wow. Star. Let's get started, man. Wow. No one wanted it. It. So you didn't, no have, Diggs, you didn't have Diggs in your five, and now you got D-Hop at, at four. 
I want to see what the rest of this list looks like. I got, I got, I got, Tom, Brady, I got Tom Brady number one right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I didn't. I did. I didn't have. I didn't have uh, Diggs, and I got Hopkins at four. There's not much to say about Hopkins, man. But we know. We know what he's gonna give us. Um, I think the changes benefit him. The, the addition of it's not AJ Green. If we get if we get some AJ Green that that, that, that we have previously, I think that's gonna benefit him. That's gonna it's gonna leave him a bit more open. Um, he's gonna get. He's gonna give you 1,400, 1,500, 1500 yards a season as long as he's healthy. Double digit touchdowns. Double digit touchdowns, like he, he, the hands are ridiculous. The hands, hands are the best are in the league, as far as I'm concerned. And these, this is all sound like somebody who's the best receiver in the league. Yeah, me, I don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> for me, <laughs> for me, I've got him. I've got him fourth on my list. Just maybe, I feel like other guys have uh, bigger touchdown threats and maybe, and maybe a little bit more explosive. And it could largely be down to the quarterback play as well, which, um, um, which obviously isn't, which obviously isn't completely. Hopkins fault, well, it's not Hopkins fault at all, but it will benefit, it will impact, sorry, his... Uh, let's not forget, Hopkins was giving you a thousand yards, double-digit touchdowns with um, TJ Yates and... Um, uh, who the shot? Like, he has the worst quarterback. Oh, my day. <laughs> he had a bloody... No one, no one is more quarterback-friendly than D-Hop. Than D-Hop. Yeah, no this one. guy, this guy has got some guys paid. Right. <laughs> Shout out D Hop man, four four best four, four best wide receiver in the league, man. That's that. Hey, we'll, we'll, when we touch it, when it comes to you, facts, facts. We'll come. We'll revisit that though, innit? Because obviously, us three will have him higher up on the list as he deserves to be. But books, he he got at four, bro. Uh, at four, I've got um, Devonte Adams. <laughs> Devonte Adams, yeah. Um, that's incorrect. This is largely due to. I still don't know if he's going to be bringing him the ball. Yeah. It's still not clear. But in terms of just Adams, I don't think anyone's got a better release package than than one team. Oh, I mean, no one hey, creates search it up. Search it up on YouTube. Bro, it's a masterclass. Sometimes <laughs> you, it's a masterclass, bro. Hey, yeah, off the hey, line, hey. Off, yeah, off the line, no one's got a better release package than him. And he's a great route runner, reliable, great hands. But yeah. The, the three guys that just got above him are just a bit more. I'm scared of the the three guys more than I am Adams. That's that's fair, why that's fair. The irony is that's the guy I have at three, Devonte Adams. Um, I think you you could definitely argue there are guys more explosive than him, but there's not many guys that can basically be the only target on their team and still make play after For play sure. after play after play. Do you know what I mean? How many guys can literally be the only threat, but you still can't guard him? Do you know what I mean? Donny, um, he's in mo and he plays every position as well. He plays in the slot, plays outside, he plays in motion. Do you know what I mean? For me, he's another guy. Put there might be question marks about where Aaron Rodgers goes. Um, I believe he will stay. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's why you know DeAndre Hopkins, I mean Devontae Adams will have another great season. But I even think per a sub -bar, subpar quarterback, Devontae Adams is still there. He's still going to put up numbers. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you said it, books. The release package is crazy. He's another guy with steady, steady hands. Um, you, you just can't guard him. Like that guy, you just can't guard him one one, fam. Even if you double team him, he's so fluid <laughs> that he'll lose, he'll lose the double team as well. So, yeah, I got Devontae Adams at three. Um, what about you, Nadim? I have Julio Jones at three. And at three? You know my, you know my issue is, I'll tell you what my issue is. When you're Julio Jones's age and you get traded, people think that it's because you're declining. And I don't think that's what this is. I think this is just purely money money, money issues for the Atlanta Falcons. That's why they had to get rid of him. This guy is still one of the best players in the NFL. Like, forget just wide receivers. One of the best players in the NFL. Most mm -hmm. dominant wide receiver in the in the NFL. Like, that's how good he is. And and obviously last season injuries, but basically read off the numbers just before last season for the injuries hit. He was dominating this league. And I think a change of scenery always helps. I think uh, uh, now he goes where he this is probably the actually now I give Calvin, Calvin Ridley credit. This is another place where he'll go and he'll have a guy who could be a number one type of wide receiver. He has a, a great running back now and he has a great coach. So I think a change of scenery will do him well. Plus, now he knows 
he's playing for something. I think last season when you, you know your team's not very good, it kind of demotivates you. Now you know there's a Super Bowl chance with this team. So, yeah, I think Julio Jones goes back to dominating the league. Maybe not in terms of numbers because they're not really that type of team. But exactly. I think he goes back to having highlight plays and big plays for this team. Yeah, that's a good point. I think, yeah, he de- he's definitely going to have some amazing plays. Like the play action between Derrick Henry, AJ Brown and Julio. Good Lord. That's, yeah. It's basically going to be unstoppable like when they run play action. If they start throwing the ball more as well, then it just makes it harder to guard Derrick Henry. So, do, do you know what? That, do you know what it is? That offense is going to be crazy. Do you know what it is as well. When you have some, when you have Julio and you have AJ Brown, and even when you're running the ball, you kind of look at them and you go, "We have these two weapons. Like we actually, we actually have to throw." So they will they're both stage. huge. So they can both block as well. By the way, exactly. So no, there will come a stage in the season where the coaches will just go, "Let's save Derrick Henry a bit. Just throw the ball. Yeah. Like, if we lose, we lose." But like we have two of the most dominant receivers at the moment. Let's let's throw the ball. Put it in the air, man. They'll come down. Exactly. hundred percent. You can make an argument. That's the best you were in the league, and they ain't even played a game together yet. Mm. Genuinely. What two wide receivers or just weapons? Two wide receivers. Yeah. Unless you still want to go Mike Evans and Godwin and them, man. But oh no, 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 no. no. Look, at, look at Travis Kelsey as a as a wide. No, nah, but he's a, yeah. That's why. That's why I asked. But if he's, he's a tight ender. Yeah, he's tight end. But so, so he's weapons. Got, if it's weapons, then it's the Chiefs, obviously. Then it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. By a significant. <laughs> but who you got at three, Abessi? At three, I've got um, the cheetah, Tyreek Hill, probably my favorite player in the league to watch. Um, underrated catcher, um, underrated route runner, everything that, 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 that Nadim, I think it was Nadim who put him at five. Um, but everything Nadim said really in terms of his improvements that he's made. Because this, this wasn't him when he came into the league. He was he was your punter and he was your over the top guy. He was very explosive and he was he was scary. But now he, now he's straight a weapon all all across the offense. And if it was best defensive player out of the, out of this receiving list, I would have put him number one because for me he's the scariest player in the league. Nobody you don't want no you don't want any business with him. You'll line up in the backfield with he'll he'll um uh, he'll, he'll, he'll catch punt returns and, and run down the other side the field etc. So we know what he's about. But yeah, I'll put him here. He's got he's got Pat Mahomes as his quarterback. So we know he's going to get targets. The ball's going to be in the right place. And when the ball's in his hands in the open field, man, there's not it's much many right. defenders in the league can do, man. It's, it's, it's over. So it's just in right. terms of what I've got about D Hop, Keenan Allen, and and um uh, and Diggs is purely because I just think he scares defenders more than they do. Even though they may they may all be better technically than he is. I think it's close, even though they may be, but they may be better technically than he is. We just put Seafus that failed a life into defenders, man. They look at that man, they just I won't forget the play against the Bills, man. This guy just in in the in the AFC Championship game, man. Man, my own dumped it off to him. This guy just sat sat the whole defense down, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he was in the red zone, but in no time. So that's why I got I got Tyreek Hill at that number three on my list. Yeah, definitely, definitely the deadliest weapon. Uh, my favorite but, play of Tyreek Hill is when Nicole Hardman was running with the touchdown, and Tyreek Hill ran out there and shit. <laughs> And Miko so Hardman is off. Oh, <laughs> Terry was, I was mad. That was just showing off, man. Yeah, just showing off, man. He showing loves off. showing off. He loves showing off. But um, books, who you got three, bro? Uh, I've got I Hopkins at number three. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, that, yeah. The reason I said my favorite one had was just the hands, man. I think he's got the most reliable hands. Hands in the NFL, man, and it's not just like routine catches, like catches Bro. he probably shouldn't make. Let's He's not forget the game winner with. that he had. Yeah, last game winner, exactly, Woo! exactly. And and he knows he knows where the boundaries are. He keeps his toes in bounds. Yeah, man, I I I, I got I got big big respect for DeAndre Hopkins. Obviously, there's always going to be questions over the his quarterback, but I think I think there's enough there to. To make it work, and also the addition of AJ Green. Even if you get fifty percent of what AJ Green was before, I think I think it's it's, it's always going to be a good addition. And it's, it's only going to open Hopkins up more in it. So exactly, yeah, I've got Hopkins at number three. So that's fair. I'm interested to hear you must top twos then, because it feels like a lot of the big guns are off the list for you, man. But um, at two, I've got Tyreek. 
um, for a lot of the points that you man said, man, Tyree is he's legit the the deadliest weapon in the league. Like you just put the ball in his hands and he makes things happen. Um, mm-hmm. Bunt returns, kick returns, uh, bloody shallow swipe, shallow cross, wide receiver screen, anything like that. You. You, you provide for him. The guy get, gets yards. Like he eats up yards. Um, he's got the best quarterback in the league, which gives him a huge edge. And uh, them guys have a bit of taste in their mouth. I'm like, they're coming back this season with a vengeance. So, um, so yeah, man. I think it's, it's scary times for the league, man. Like when you have a guy like Tyreek Hill, you got the deadliest man in the league, um, and then you got Pat Mahomes, the best player in the league, and Tyreek Hill, I'm, Tra- uh, Travis Kelsey. One of the deadliest weapons in the league as well. Like, it's just I don't know how you got. And the thing with Tyreek Hill is, you have to play cover two. Like, you can't play one safety against uh, Tyreek Hill. Otherwise, you're done. Like, gen- there's nothing you can do um, in terms of uh, playing cover one. You have to play cover two. So he's literally, it's like a Steph Curry thing. Even when he hasn't even moved, he's dictating the terms of the play. Do you get what I mean? So that's 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 high high respect right there. But um, yeah, Tyree kill number two for me, man. What about you, Nadim? Who you got that two? Number two, I got Devonte Adams. And Devonte Adams, we're talking about his release package and his right running. I think there's a video of Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson, like crying from watching Devonte Adams right right running. That's how good he is. This guy, look, the main stuff for me. Everyone talks about receptions, reception yards, catches, and all that stuff. The other, the main thing for me is how often touchdowns. do you score touchdowns? touchdowns? He has 18 last season. He gets touchdowns. there often. Team. And also, team. remember, he missed two games and he's playing with like a like a broken toe for a part of the season. Really, well. really. There's one game he come off and yeah. he played, I think, the first quarter. I think he had yeah. four touchdowns in the game as well, by the way. In any game. And also, my favorite video. Maybe of him, five. Sorry. He, he probably did. But no, no way. My favorite video of him was the one against the Bears in the first week of the season. He ran around, and there's five guys around him. And he went one, two, three, four, five. That's how much attention this guy draws. And and look, we'll, it will, we'll see who the quarterback on the center come game one. Maybe it's Aaron Rodgers. Maybe it's Jordan Love. We don't know yet. Maybe he's not in Green Bay. I'm going to throw that out there. But it's not, not Bronte reach. Adams is a top-tier receiver. Like he's, he's one of the best in, in the NFL. And I can't wait to see what this guy does this season because if you're having to build off this season, that was so impressive. And if he stays healthy, the sky is the limit for this guy. Mm. My facts, man. Devontae Adams, special. Special. Uh, what about you, Bessie, bro? Two. Number two, and I'm not, I'm surprised this guy hasn't been everyone's top two, Julio Jones. I think everyone's got him on their list somewhere, I think. Maybe not. I didn't, I didn't have him on my list. Yeah, that's that 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 that's damn right disrespectful, man. Julio Jones, we know what that man's about, man. Fourteen hundred yard seasons, fifteen hundred. Well, the guy had a nineteen hundred yard season, but this is this is really what he does. Um, yeah, but uh, going into next season, though, my next season, I've got, I'm, I'm, I've got to look at his resume, man. This is what he does. I'm not. I can't look at one season which was last year where he was no, hit by sure. an injury, and 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 use that as no Julio's not going to get it done. And I think I I think this new team and this new system will, will benefit him. Um, he's not going to have as much attention because of the other weapons that that, that we mentioned in the show, um, and he may he's 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 in a rare rare situation. He's the number two guy on the offense, which is crazy. So because of that, and because you want to keep Derrick Henry nice and healthy and fresh for the season, and because the guy's hungry as well, he wants to win. And I think he's a bit offended by Atlanta that they thought they they thought they it was done for him. They thought that yeah, we're getting a new guy from a new tight end. Someone remind me of my man's name for the draft. Carl Pitts. Getting a new Carl Pitts. Carl Pitts, the big man. We're getting in Carl Pitts. Let, 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 let's trade away Julio Jones. Maybe he's done. You, you'll take that personally, I, I, I imagine. And for me, I got him as the second best receiver in, in the league this year. And I won't be surprised if he's not the best by the end of the year. The reason why I haven't got him number one is just a touchdown threat. If there's any flaw or any weakness in his game, he's not that touchdown threat that, that some of these other guys in the league are. And that's the only reason why he's not number one. But everything else... Well, that's the, that's that's the receiver I want in my team. That's fair. Just on that, you man had question marks about D Hop's quarterback. Listen, Tannehill was not even in the league of the other qu- the the quarterbacks or the wide receivers we're talking about. Ty- Pat Mahomes, Josh Allen, um, Herbert, 
Tane was not in their man's league, so yeah, but he's got he's got a running back. You got all right. respect, though. No, for sure, yeah, but we like, got make the throw. Like, yeah, but already, you ain't got to make the throw with, with, with Julio. Just got to throw a name, man. You ain't gonna make the throw. <laughs> what you're saying? You take Tane over Herbert Nadim? No, I'm not saying that. But I was not saying that. You, just can't, you, can't, you can't put Herbert over Tannehill already. Like, yes, you like can. Tannehill. We've seen it, bro. Yeah, it. you can. You can. You can. For real. But, We've Books, he got to you, bro. Do you know what? After the disrespect my boy has taken on this pod, I was going to put him <laughs> number one on the bad <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Number two, I've got Stefan Diggs. Okay. Stefan Diggs. Yeah, man. I, I think I think Diggs is, is a complete receiver, man. Route running, hands, the hard work that um Nadine mentioned, and also obviously the relationship he's got with his with his quarterback. If if he kicks on from last season, which I expect him to do, I don't see how being better than most receptions, most receiving yards in the league doesn't yeah, doesn't land know, yeah. you on this spot. Yeah, you know what? No, I've got a number two, but doesn't land you. On yeah, this spot, there, which I'm, yeah. I'm obviously I'm expecting the relationship to get better. Um, he have a better understanding of the playbook and stuff like that, and then we utilize it more. So if he kicks on from this from last season, which I'm expecting him to do, I believe that he will be at least a top three receiver next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Diggs is your Diggs is legit, man. Like after last season, I don't think you can look at him and have any question marks about him anymore. Man. He did, man. I didn't have question marks, bro. That's, that's crazy. Sixth in the league. That's, that's fantastic for Dick. That's he crazy. Was, like, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I said he should, be, he should be happy with that. <laughs> he should Literally. be happy with that. <laughs> Wait, who'd you have at five again, Abasi? I had Keenan Allen at five. So Keenan Allen or Diggs. That's, that's, that's an interesting... Uh, the next season. Uh, he shouldn't what, be, man. I don't think it's season. close, man. Off of last season, obviously, it was Diggs. I'm, I'm talking about burning to next season. No, facts. Oh. I had Keenan Allen at five, Diggs at four. So you can definitely argue. You can switch at the two of them. It's not a reach. Um, number one's now, man. Number one, I've got for me, man, number one yeah, receiver. For me, the best, the Andre Hopkins, man. For me, that guy, any ball is catchable. Donnie had a season where he didn't drop a single ball. Do you know what I mean? So for me, DeAndre Hopkins, it does not get much better than that. He does it all. Touchdowns, um, receiving yards, big plays. Um, as I mentioned, the game winner, I think that was against the Bills. That was one of the best games of the season. Um, Donnie caught it over three guys. How many guys in the league can, can make that play? Um, not only three I, guys as well. He caught it over Tredavious White, one of the best corners in the bro, league. Well. Bro, bro. Body bag Tredavious White. <laughs> And let's not forget, I remember he had that big play against the Cowboys when he was doing the spinner Rooney, just spinning past Bear Man. I don't know if you might remember that play. Yeah, I remember that. DeAndre Hopkins is people, people, I think because he's not ex- explosive, people um, use that to take away from him. But, bro, if you can catch any ball, it doesn't matter if I'm getting down the field in 20 seconds or 50 seconds. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, ma- I'm making the play. If you can't run every route, though. DeAndre Hopkins can run, run every single route on the route tree. There's no route DeAndre Hopkins cannot run. Um, yeah, for me... I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's a great route runner, though, would you? No, I wouldn't say he's a great route runner, but he can run every route. You don't need to be a yeah, great yeah, route runner when you've got them kind of hands. But we're talking about being number the, 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 the best receiver in the league. Yeah, but he so makes my, the catches. There's no... There's, he makes to the be catches. fair... Not, but, but the throws to be not fair, really you don't need them. to run every route. You don't need to be able to run every route to be... Yeah, like, Tom Brady, too, but like, like Megatron, for example, one of the exactly. best receivers ever. He can't run every route. Michael Thomas, as Nadim said. Yeah, I mean, let's not... You man might, you know, at Michael Thomas, but when Drew Brees was about, Michael Thomas was Ooh. top five selected. Top five top selected. Exactly. All I know is the last time I saw Michael Thomas. Hey, let's not let's not. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, innit? <laughs> it wasn't no, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. There was friction. Pretty there, was, there, was, there was friction in the camp. There was friction in the camp. <laughs> it it was D Hop six six touchdowns last season, seven touchdowns season before. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. I love D-Hop, man. And I think he's and I think he's technically fantastic. I really think he's technically and he's just great to watch. But the but best, the best even in the league. Yeah. 
I don't. I'm not sure he scares defenders as, as much as some other guys in this, on on this list. I, they don't want to see him. They yeah. don't want to see none of the guys in this Only list. Only Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Nobody I don't think. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he's scary or anything. But the guy makes plays. You know, it doesn't matter if you fear me or not. If I'm making every catch, do you, do you know what I mean? Know what the, is, the fear is not on the stat sheet. Do you know what it is Sorry? with Hopkins? Yeah. You 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 think oh like he's he's not having a big game he's not having a big game you look at the bot score it'll be like no. fourteen for for one twenty so Bro. like he's he's like that like he's not like a oh get all the yards in one play yeah, type of exactly. guy yeah. but you look at the bot score and you be like Bro, how do you how do you do that type of thing isn't it that's the type of receiver he is man and third down there's not a receiver I want in the league more than him on third down yep do you know a what I mean receiver or or or, or, or anybody. A receiver. Travis Kelsey's okay, not I, in the mix. I got my boy Kels, man. Travis Kelsey's not in the mix. I want to man. No, for yeah, sure. For yeah. sure. Kelsey, Kelsey or third down, they're basically unstoppable. Do you know what I mean? But <laughs> if we're talking wide receivers, bro, there's not a wide receiver I want on third down more than DeAndre. Third down, fourth down than DeAndre Hopkins. Um, Nadim, who you got one, bro? DeAndre Hopkins. Like, he's, he's that guy. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, because he's not flashy and he's he's more grit than than was than flash. People mm-hmm. seem to think, oh, he doesn't really do much. Like he's constantly making plays downfield. He's constantly moving the chains, and contested catch, 50-50 ball. I put a hundred percent on like, every single time. <laughs> like, it's, it's his. Like it's his ball. Like remember the right. catch he made against Xavier How, uh, Howard that got called back. The one on on his. Oh my his days. Yes. Yeah. Yo, that's what this guy does. D Hop doesn't do 50 50 catches, man. It's always in his favor, man. (laughs) And he always says, uh, That was a great catch by I. That was ridiculous, man. That was so funny. But no, the guy is incredible as well. I think he, he, every season, you look at the, the receiving yards, the receiving, uh, um, um, receptions, he's always at the top, no matter who's throwing him the ball. And and I feel like last season, there's one criticism I have is probably not getting in the end zone as much. I feel like you know Devontae Adams has that on him, so which is why for me it was a toss up between the two. But apart, but everything Kyle else, so yeah. used to running in, fam. Yeah, that's that's another thing I had to take into consideration. Who's the quarterback? Aaron Rodgers will throw you that ball every single time. Bro, do, Murray, you, do, you, do you guys not remember uh, who did they play last? That he forced it to him four times. In the the run yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, <laughs> Rogers is gonna fit in. Gonna get the Rams. He's gonna get the Rams. It was like, yeah. it was us. I was so upset. Like, Rogers needs them to touch down himself. <laughs> <laughs> Rogers ain't running it in as well, man. He wants to throw. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he had an open okay. lane too, bro. And he's still okay. in there, bro. <laughs> okay. I wonder what that play was called where he just went to the to the huddle and said just line up I'm throwing it to Devontae like, <laughs> like, wherever you are Devontae man. Wherever happen, you are Devontae so yeah, one man rap. I just think this guy constantly he's constantly downfield even though maybe he doesn't have the pace of the other guys or he doesn't have like the, the the get off of the other guys but he's constantly making plays downfield and he's he's the most friendly wide receiver I think in the NFL like he was so easy for Kyler <laughs> to play with like he's so like the guy is always open, even on third down. Like I think no one had more first down receptions than him. So for me, DeAndre Hopkins is the best receiver in the NFL going into this season. Same. Uh Bassi, what about you, bro? Who you got number one? Uh, let me just, just say my finger with DeAndre Hopkins. I, I'm not hating on my man, by the way. I love DeAndre Hopkins. I just want to get that out of there. The guy's obviously all time great, man. Let's not be silly about it. But just, sure. just some of the things you mentioned about touchdowns, um, about his pace separation at the line like i feel like there's guys there's receiving the league that do that a bit higher level than him mm-hmm. his hands are the best in the league as well as i'm concerned like you man said hey it's not 50 50 with him around do you know what those... it... go on, then. no i said no finish 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 your point uh, it's, it's those little things that, that that take him out of my number one spot but i hear i hear i hear it man i can't lie i can't sure. argue with too much do you, do you know what it is it's the honest argument because oh I, my day. I was right just now. about to say that just about <laughs> to say that because Giannis isn't like the most skilled guy and he's not yep. wowing you with like fadeaways. Not a great like jump shooter. No, he's not. But everyone was like, like KD and LeBron and, and Steph and AD and all these guys over him. But you can't argue with production. Meanwhile, yeah, he's I'm putting up 35 and 15. 
Exactly. This ain't show, but I'll, I'll argue with with that all day about Giannis, but this ain't this ain't this ain't the time, man. Ain't when he's time. on his way to winning a chip, come on, man. Yeah, Drew at the right time. And a Finals MVP. The whole league was injured this year, man. And a Finals MVP. Ain't, ain't on, no one doing this, man. He's playing against on, on, on 60% field goals, bro. On 60% field goals. Allow me, man. Allow me, man. Come on, man. Stop the agenda, Basti, man. Stop the agenda. You look no better than this, man. This oh, I am Basti. I'm Basti, yeah. Bucks and six, so you better just get used to it, bro. You feel me? But who's he playing in the final? Ah, Basti, you're moving nuts. The cheat on basketball show because boy, hey, no matter what happens, happens, the agenda must run. <laughs> it's not a basketball show, but I'm gonna have to list the name of the NBA guys that are injured right now, man. Right, nah, yeah. bro, a chip is a chip, man. A chip is a chip. But he's playing, yeah, he's playing the Suns, and the Suns, the Suns ain't got no injuries. And the Suns are no joke, fam. Exactly. Chris Paul yeah, never yeah, uh, be there. You know better than that. They shouldn't be there. Uh, Chris Paul shouldn't have, be there. We've got we a way off topic. Yeah, he's not though. He's not the best player in the okay, championship. Yeah, but yeah. Chris Paul ain't better than no D. Anyway, let's off to oh. topic. Yeah, we're, we're definitely off topic. topic. <laughs> Book ain't better than yeah, yeah. Number one receiving the league, in my opinion, is Devonte Adams. I got him number one in the league. Um, like you said in the dim, he was he he only really played thirteen games last year. He had the most touchdowns in the league. Right. And again, it does make a difference that Aaron Rodgers is your quarterback. But at the end of the day, I, I believe Aaron Rodgers is going to be his quarterback again next year. So with that with that in mind, I think he's gonna produce similar things. Um he would have had the most receiving yards in the league as well had he not missed those two, three games that, that, that he did miss. And just back to some of the points earlier about the separation on, on the line, there was like his coaching, I can't remember what it was, it was like coaching masterclass video, but it was just running through how he gets separation at the line and it and it, and it was ridiculous, man. Bro. He's gone before you before you even know he don't even try and touch you up at the line, man. He's just gone. And then not, there's not any DBs can do about it. Um, I believe you'll have Aaron Rodgers throwing in the ball again next year. So I believe you'll have probably he'll lead the lead in TDs. Uh, he'll lead the league in, in reception yards as well if, he, if he's healthy. And I think just that 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 threat in the other in the other team's end zone is 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 a problem, man. And it's not something that can be slept on because you mentioned the greats, greats that you got in the league, Julio Jones, DeAndre Hopkins. They're not that same threat that he is in the end zone. He wants touchdowns, he's hungry for touchdowns. And obviously it helps that you got Aaron Rodgers feeding you, but he's still there to, to, to pick up the pieces. So sure. I got I got I got I got Devontae Adams as my number one um receiver going into next year. I like it, man. Don't don't Devontae Adams. I feel like he didn't get the respect he deserved until last year, fam. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But books, who you got at number one, bro? I got Tyreek Hill, the most dangerous man in the NFL, man. I think I think there's nobody as explosive as Tyreek Hill. I think what's the game? I think it was the Bucks that he had like 200 in what the first quarter. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> nobody. Every every receiver on this list is great, but nobody on this list can do that. In my opinion, can get nah. 200 yards in. He's he. You have to account for him everywhere. They they put him on jet sweep. Put him on. Played he and he's obviously he's, he was always he's always had track speed, but now he's improved so much of his game. He's a route runner now. He comes down with the ball too, like his hands aren't as suspicious as they were at one point. And to put up the numbers he puts up, twelve hundred yards, fifteen touchdown, as probably the second option on this offense says says a lot because obviously Kelsey's got to eat too, so he yeah. takes away some of his some of his productions. For him to for him to have, in my opinion, the best tight end of the league and still put up the, this this amount of numbers is is sure. crazy, man. I, I think he's the most fair as well because you could kind of game plan for everyone else, but Tyree Kill, once he gets behind the defense, there's not really much, not really much you can do for him, man. It's finished. Double team, triple it's team, not, two safeties, one safety, one you, high. You can triple team that guy, but if he's running straight down, <laughs> can, if it's he's running straight me. down, the there's, no, there's nothing you no can do, man. man. No, 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 he's he's got, got, he's got to pray to God that yeah, Pat doesn't hit him. That's the only thing. <laughs> he's got to pray to God. And most most times, most times, Pat's gonna hit him. So it's 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 not it's not fun to play against him, man. I think, I think he's I think he's the one that gives like coaches the most to think best. about. Yeah, yeah, like they Definitely. sleepless nights when you've got to play Tyree Kill, man. And I reckon they'll use Clyde more. 
you know what I mean? Run the ball a little bit more for yeah, balance. Yeah, Edward yeah. And then Tyreek just becomes even more dangerous. Because mm. then that, he's stretching you up. I'm scared of that Chiefs team, man. Especially with the Bro. way they lost that last... The, the way they lost Bro. against the Bucks. They're coming it back might, with it might be peak. <laughs> It's mad. It might be peak. Scorch Earth Tour, fam. It's mad. But, um... Yeah, that's our fives. We do, um... One wild card each. So one guy that we believe has the potential to break into the top five or even maybe top three. Yeah, you know I mean a guy you think will have a breakout season. There's a lot of guys, as I said at the beginning of the show, there's a lot of wide receivers that are elite. Do you know what I mean? Just to go over a few that I had written down, Amari Cooper got Dak back, Amari Cooper can come back. Uh, Robert Woods, uh, Matt Stafford is about, so um he can have a big season. Justin Jefferson, as we mentioned, AJ Brown. Um, and there's numerous other guys that you can argue can be in this uh, top five. Michael Thomas is still there. So um, we'll start with you, Nadim. Who's one guy that you're looking at saying a wild card, potential chance to break into the top five or just have a breakout season? Uh, uh, this might... Is this someone which we, we don't know or like we know? Or Whatever, it's, it's down to you. It's down however because, you want to, you know. I'm over. looking at... I'm looking at Odell, and I'm thinking, what version are we gonna get of you in going into next season? <laughs> Look at that season, fit forward. He was losing two nil on FIFA now. You sound like he's taking the game seriously now. That can't be right. How does possible? The reason I'm saying this is because before he got injured last season, he looked as good as we'd seen him in a long time. And then he Baker throws a pick against the Bengals. He's chasing back, lands awkwardly, and all, and all of a sudden his season is done. And he was on pace for like a Pro Bowl type season. And I think that's one of the first seasons he didn't have like a thousand yards. Even in the seasons where he's been hurt, he's had like a thousand yards. So, and bear in mind, he's never really had an elite quarterback. I don't think we'd ever class Eli Manning or Baker as elite. So, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does this season. I think it would it could be the type of season where. I think one he could win comeback player of the year, but I also think it could be the type of season where it just reminds everyone like, oh no, don't forget about me. So I, I'm really interested to see what Odell does this season. Yeah, good shot, good shot. Didn't mention him. It's definitely listen, talent wise, Odell's still elite. So we'll see if the production can can get back to where it once was. Abasi, do you have anything to say on Odell? Or are you ready to well, learn? But, yeah. I, I mean, my my my. I, I like Odell. Firstly, I like to say that I love my black men. <laughs> you don't I like, like you stop with the display. I, I my brothers. I love our brothers in the NFL, man. However, I think the ship, unfortunately, has sailed at, at Cleveland. It sailed. It sailed on, on a, as a top five receiver. That sailed regardless. But the ship, that ship, the ship at Cleveland, not even as a top five receiver, just as a receiver for for chemistry itself. So, I think oh, the, the long long gone are those days of the fantastic one handed catches, the explosive. Sprints, um, just just the just the exciting player that we all came to see. I don't even think he's blonde anymore. I think I think he's got I think he's got black hair now, man. <laughs> I think the, the old Dale hype train was, was was what it was in twenty sixteen when, when, whenever twenty fifteen whenever that was. Times moved on now. We're in twenty twenty one, um, and how long can you keep living off of that? How long? How many years of injury? This isn't this isn't Julio Jones, but how many years of injuries before we say okay, the guy clearly can't stay healthy for a whole season? That's not debatable. And the explosive plays aren't there that the same way that they used to be. So as much as I like Odell, which I, yeah, I like Odell. I don't I, I don't think that's I don't think um, we're gonna see him back in the top five anytime soon. We'll see, man. We'll see, because that Brown offense is gonna be scary. We'll see if you know they prioritize getting the best out of it. Because if Baker's done being a little girl and panicking when Odell's out on the route tree, then <laughs> I have an issue with the fact that you're playing worse with better players. How, do, how does that make sense? Yeah, that, that, that doesn't make sense. That, that's, that, that I have an issue with that. Chemistry, man. Chemistry. You know, you, but that's on right? Baker. That's on Baker. <laughs> when you know what's the yeah, you've got to look at the deep face of my dad. He was so <laughs> oh my no, God. but fam, for, for me, like, yo, like, oh there's no God. way you can say, oh, I've got too much talent. Like, <laughs> you, you are referring to 
Donovan Peoples Jones and Higgins than Odell Beckham. Like, come on, bro. Thank you, so man. Get off him, get off him on your feet, bro. It's not yeah. that hard, fam. Just fam. Get off him on your feet, bro. It's not bro. that <laughs> simple. Simple. Why are you simple. staring him down, bro? Bro. <laughs> He what just needs hell? to fix up. He needs he to fix up. He's <laughs> an older celebrity, huh? <laughs> no, because, because the man is in, because he's in fashion shows and you want to stay down to him. <laughs> bro, <laughs> come on. That's a big bro, cut. Bro. Move on with your read, man. What the oh, hell job is? This is Meanwhile, job, job is probably wide open, man. You're sticking yeah. to the job. Bro, and he's just staring him <laughs> down, bro. Move on with your read, man. You remember the game uh, against the Bengals last season? The, the first one, Joe Burrow's first game, second game. The, the the touchdown he had, um, when Baker threw over the top to Adele. I don't remember the to game. Adele, yeah. Like that's the type of, that's the type of stuff this guy can do. Like he, you talk about Devontae Adams getting in the paint. Adele gets in the paint. That's what no, he's always done. Does. Does. So does. Does. He scores touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Abassi, what about you, bro? Who's your you know your dark horse receiver? Dark horse is. It's gonna be hard for anyone to break into that top five. Uh, I've got Keen, I've got Keenan and obviously Diggs as well. So top six ish. It's gonna be hard, I think, for a receiver to break into that. Um, if I'd say any, I'm not convinced, but this is just the most convincing of the receivers. I don't. I'm gonna say DK Metcalf. Like, I'd like to say again, I'm not completely convinced, but the most convincing of, of the rest. The is there. Um, because just because of the of the athlete he is, and one of the most one of the most fascinating plays I think we saw in the NFL last year was him sprinting back and and slapping the ball out of um, nine man's hands after Russell. Who the Baker, Baker. Baker sounds after Russell played a horrible play. Um, yeah, I think I think he's got the, he's got the pace, he's got the explosiveness. His hands are something that really he needs to work on. He needs to be on a practice field. Like Ben Simmons needs to be in the gym practicing free throws. <laughs> My man needs to just be there, standing up with a machine and just catching balls. But I've seen, I saw balls hit him in, hit him in the helmet because all the all the other stuff he's got, he's got the rest he's, of the stuff. Whoa, he can't run routes to save his life. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have all the other stuff. He doesn't need to. <laughs> no, yeah, no, good, no, 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 he doesn't need to. But when you're that whole time, I know Stuff, okay, know, I'll, I'll give you that. He, he, does, he doesn't run around quick, but he does. He does have a lot of the other of the other intangibles, and, and he is scary. You put Tyreek Hill number one on your list, purely with, uh, largely to do with the fact that he just scares defenders. This guy scares defenders, man. He was running hundred meters a few months ago. He's mm. got the strength, like he's he's, he's a scary athlete. Don't he try I mean, go yeah. to the try join the Olympic team, fam? Oh, Don't he's a uh, freak. Bro, you might ain't, you might ain't seen him jumping off um one one leg on the on the water board. That video is frightening, bro. One leg, yeah. he's holding weights. He's holding you know, weights. He's there's people, there's the guys people when God was building them, they were doing <laughs> yeah. too much. Yeah. Far too much. Like, how can you allow this guy? Is that big? Yeah. Is that quick? That quick? That athletic? It doesn't make sense. Like, it's, it's too much that game, he's a free. freak. He's a real you know, freak. He's absolute freak. He's a real freak. Right. He's a real freak. Who, yeah, the man you, man. Man. And we could be talking about him in the top five. Yeah. He, he doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to have the hands of of, of D Hop or, or Julio or, or Devonta Adams. We know he's just got to be reliable, man. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. be reliable. He's got to be reliable. Facts, facts. Uh, Bulls, what about you? Use your dark horse. Uh, my dark horse is Alan Robinson, wide receiver, Chicago Bears. Because of your boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, he's, he's finally got a passer now. You get me? You get me? He's finally got a real passer now. So it should be interesting. And, and they obviously they didn't pay him over the off season, so he's obviously oh, that's paying for uh, paying for a contract. So I think he's gonna have a big season, man. And he doesn't drop passes. He doesn't drop passes at all. Yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna send a video to a group chat here yeah, of what he done to Jalen Ramsey on a route. And I don't know who I don't know who who it was. I think it was Trubisky. Just, just couldn't just couldn't hit him. It was sad, man. Oh, it was sad. Oh, this I, know, I, know I feel bad when he's wide receiver with dead quarters. Oh, it's false. It might be false. Yeah, yeah it might be false. Yeah, yeah but send this, that year, to me, this year he's getting hit, man. So he's going to have a good season. Hopefully, man. Yeah, he's, he's legit, though. So he's legit. Yeah, um, yeah and he's going to do a good job. But one guy that I say is my dark horse is DJ Moore. Um, I feel like uh, Sam Down is a huge upgrade on uh, what they've had so far. Um, so, you got Chris, Christian McCaffrey's back. Um, no, Sam Down was an upgrade on um, Teddy Bridgewater. 
and uh, whoever else you want to say. I think Sam Darnold still got um, something to prove. Like, let's not forget, he was um, number one for a reason in the draft with uh, Baker, Lamar. No, he um, went second. Josh Allen. Oh, yeah, number two, yeah. Baker That's was second. number one. Yeah, but he was the high, highest rated prospect in he that draft. Gone, if, everything, if everything was... Yeah, was mo- as in most of the, the, dra- yeah. the drafts uh, had him going number one, or mock drafts. Yeah, had him yeah. going number one, so um, I feel I still think the talent's still there. It's hard to succeed in in in, in New York, man, with the Jets. Like that 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 team does That's nothing to support to support yeah. their players. Bro, you bro, they're, they're just they're just here to make up the numbers, man. They're, they're bro, literally, bro. They're literally, bro. They're literally yeah, the their job was to give the Patriots two wins each season. <laughs> 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 bro, they're an absolute disgrace, man. Honestly, bro, like, that organization, I don't know what they were doing. There was, a, <laughs> there was a point where we actually thought they could be good when they had Jamal Adams and the Sam Donald and the Brian Levy. They, yeah, yeah. they, they were cheats. They were Tragic. so bad. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. He, he, he's out they of that. Even, um, they couldn't even tank probably, bro. Man. That's what I'm saying. They couldn't even. <laughs> it was theirs to lose. It was theirs. It was, bro. Trevor Lawrence was presented to them on a silver platter, bro. But so I think you would have gone back to college. I think you would have gone back to Clemson. <laughs> I think you would have done another year in Clemson, man. Peacefully, bro. I don't think that boy comes out, man. I don't think he comes out. No, nah, listen. No one's trying to go to the Jets. Jets I'm even all, Zach Wilson. Zach bro, Wilson's he's, he's, tough. Bro, no, no offense. Zach Wilson's going there to die, man. It's just not. Yeah, it's I, not I, looking I, up. I want to have Let's not judge Zach Wilson on this time with the Jets, man. Let's not judge him on that. I, I want to yeah, have faith yeah. in Robert Sala, but. But Me too, man. I want, I want Salah to do so well. That's the only bro. reason why. That yeah, the I only glimmer of hope. So well. Yeah, man. It's, it's not the wrong with the organization, man. It's just there's something wrong with the organization. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know? I just said this off topic, but you know what doesn't make sense to me? Like, I don't know how you can watch Adam Gates in Miami, like not do well, and then go. Yeah, that's the guy I want to hire. <laughs> I, 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 I can't tell you how that shit happened, that's, man. That's who's yeah. gonna lead us yeah. out of this slump. I do. <laughs> <laughs> The culture, in there, the culture in there is dumb, man. The culture in there is so stupid, bro. Um, like, look, look, I hope we saw how the Knicks when the Knicks were in playoffs this year, how good that was for that city. I hope the Jets are good, but my goodness, no, <laughs> but a, lot, a, lot, a lot of New Yorkers don't support the Jets, though. No, they it don't is, care, it's a, they, they don't, care. They don't care, man. But do you know, actually, another, another wide receiver at, to, to watch out for this season, yep. CD Lamb. Yep. I think yeah. CD Lamb, you could, you could be in for a big one. A, a few, a few, a few of them boys in the draft mm. that was supposed to kick on ain't really yeah. done nothing yet. Like uh, yeah. Jared Judy, but Judy Lamb, Judy's Sutton. the quarterback. Yeah, they should take just they should take Justin Fields at nine, but it took so so they've got to pay for their sins, man. I don't think so, <laughs> yeah. man. Oh, pay for their sins. They they, they good luck but they got Teddy as well. They got Teddy, they got Teddy so maybe. Oh, no one cares about Teddy, man. <laughs> Damn, Teddy yeah. can't yeah. make the difference, man. Teddy's not making the difference. Teddy, right. Teddy's a bridge quarterback, bro. He's just going to get draft someone next year, man. He's a bridge quarterback, bro. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there, man. We'll leave it there. Um, definitely something that we can reflect back on during the season. Um, there's always wide receivers that break out, you know, have great seasons. So we'll definitely, um, you know, go back and you know see how right we were, how wrong we were, etc. But um, let us know in the comments, man. Anyone you think that's going to explode, have a good season, or who your top fives are, man. It's very, you know, we all had different top fives. Yeah, I mean, there was uh, a lot of controversy. Abassi not having digs in his top fives a bit shaky. Nadim, Nadim having Tyreek Hill at five. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, dubious, dubious takes, but each to their own, man. But uh, it's been a great show. Um, next episode, we have, the plan is to do cornerbacks and safeties. Probably make that one episode. Um Split, yeah, make that one episode, but that, that would definitely be fun getting to DBs. But, um, yeah, we'll leave it there, man. Anyone got anything they want to plug? Socials, Nadim, you got any pieces that are coming out? Oh, uh, yeah, right yeah, up? this week, this weekend, hopefully, has something. <coughs> I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't know yet, but yeah, hopefully, something this weekend. But yeah, go back, check my other pieces. I talked about Italy and how they won the Euros, the Shikari Richardson, and her not going to. The Olympics, so yeah, check check this out. I got a few things on my, my Twitter page right there. Right there. Yeah, this check one. it out, people. There, man, yeah, check it out. Pieces are always hard. Um, like, comment, subscribe, keep showing love. Um, hey, the logo soon come as well, man. And the logo is in the works still. 
So um yeah, we'll have a first down logo with us soon. Just keep growing, man. Keep growing. Looking forward to the season um coming soon. The training but, camp um, start, starts is it tomorrow. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, exactly. oh, I can smell football then, man. It's around the corner. Bam. It's around the corner, it's around man. Around the corner. Around the corner. So, um, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll be back. It's been your boys from first down, eyes on the ball. We out.